I'm going to talk to you today about setting up a blog for affiliate marketing. Now for an affiliate marketing blog I use Blogger hosted on their site. The reason behind that is because there is literally no expense. If they decide to remove your blog it's no big deal. You can set up another one the next day under either the same account or even a new one. So this is the new blogger. Brand new, all kinds of new changes and this is their layout editor. We can pick a new template, edit the HTML, change the fonts and colors, but the page elements is what's important. The main mistake that people make with an affiliate marketing blog is to include things like AdSense. AdSense is a problem, so we're going to remove it right now. The reason AdSense is a problem is it gives people somewhere to click outside of your affiliate links. You don't make much money from AdSense but if someone buys a product off your affiliate blog that will in turn give you much more money than an AdSense click. Some people would like to combine the two or utilize both. I recommend not using AdSense on your blog if you're going for affiliate sales. So I have my Squidoo lens here. I have a Squidoo lens for every affiliate marketing blog that I have what it does is it lets you filter traffic from Squidoo to your blog and your blog to Squidoo where you have affiliate links. Nice and easy, very simple. Uh, this lens is not gigantic at this point. Shortly it'll be filled with videos so if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing it'd definitely be worth your while to visit it. This blog is also empty. What I'm going to do is show you one of my secret income producing tools. The URL here is rssfeedsgenerator.com. What I did was put in some keywords in my Clickbank URL and it gave me RSS feeds. So I'm going to take this RSS URL, copy it, go back to Blogger, and add an RSS feed. Here we go. This will show five items. It randomizes the items so that they change. I like the way this... Uh, let's change the title. Now each of those links has my Clickbank ID built right in. So if they click on those links, they're going to go to the product and I will get paid if they purchase. If it's the top selling products, it should have a decent sell through rate. So then you have to get people to your blog. There are a few things you can do to do that. This website is pingoat.com. It's a huge, huge pinging service. They have a ton of websites that they ping. So you put in your information, your blog URL, your RSS feed, which comes with every blog and Squidoo Lens. So you ping and you're good. The other one that I always use is FeedShark. Again, a ton of options. Some of them cross over, but pinging twice in a row, they'll just not accept your ping, so it really can't hurt you at all. So that works. The next website we need to see is Submit them now. This is a Firefox plugin. Absolutely free. You click right here, it takes you to the download, you download it, you upload it to Firefox. It has 113 RSS feed directories and blog directories built right in. Very easy to use. You fill out some basic information about your blog and you're good to go. It's very simple, builds a ton of great backlinks to your, your blog and your Squidoo Lens. Your Squidoo Lens comes with an RSS feed as well, so utilize that. Treat your Squidoo Lens like a blog now you're filtering traffic between the two sites. The key is to tag them differently. 
Uh, use different keywords, slightly different of course. You still want them to be descriptive, otherwise your traffic is garbage. So when you post to your blog, your posts should be between four and 600 words in length and talk about affiliate marketing products or whatever niche you're in. Now, I use ClickBank, but you don't have to. You can use things like Commission Junction for literally anything you can think of, link share, share a sale. They're all great options. So you can create a blog on whatever you have an interest in. Keep that in mind. You can earn money online using affiliate marketing, never sell any products, and never deal with any customer service. It's, it's really a very nice, clean business to get into. So take my advice and enjoy.